doing the high five. I thought there was a third person, but I, I just was too absorbed in the high five. Three and three here for SOS. Four out of five wins. Not recently. the best record. Definitely much better against Protoss and Zerg. Yeah. But um, overall, I mean, it, it does uh, stand to say that this guy is one of the best Protosses we do have here. Definitely a very, very strong Protoss. I feel like the vote should have been closer. I feel like maybe one other person should have gone for Byung. But yes, it was really cool still, that. I was like, yeah. I think one other person. <laughs> I, I, still, I still feel like this is very, very close, especially with how good Byung is against Protoss. Well, Six he, and two, man. Yeah, he's a Protoss killer, that's for sure. Yeah, he. I've definitely seen a lot of his games in the past where he's, he's done so well, with, especially with his Widowed Mind like pushes. There was a reason why pushes. He, he was one of the only players to survive in Code S. Yeah, and this this guy like he usually in all of his games. I don't know why with Young, but he just, he seems like he's always playing good people. I don't know if you guys get that feel. Yeah, as well. no, I he's do. Like always facing against like the best guy. He always comes out in ace matches as well. Those wins against Protoss is there against people like SOS himself. Yeah, players like Hero. Uh, all right, here we go. Going into Outboxer, game number two. Find out if dollar sign, oh dollar sign, could tie us up. Or if Young is going to bring CJ into a 2 -0 lead. Sorry, that's kind of funny. Like one dude <laughs> cheering for CJ. Well, up here on the top left, in the green, for dinner green wings, it's cash o' cash. And down here to the bottom right in the yellow, it's Bibyong. Bibyong. Oh, God. Some people some people actually used to call him that, like other B casters. I was like, I was like, duh, Bibyong. 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 <laughs> No, right, the, now that we've gotten <laughs> that out of our systems, well, let's move on. The main on. reason he has the two Bs is because if you romanize the uh, Korean word he's trying to go for, it, it's like different from just r a regular B sound. It's like a, a harder one, but like more throaty, not like airy. It's not like Pyong. It's more like Pyong, like hard. I don't know yeah. how else to describe it. It's like Pyong, kind of that feel. Yeah. By the way, this guy was here yesterday. He came back again, supporting Pro League. Very nice guy. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for coming down again. Yeah, such a gentleman. A real stand-up guy. Real stand-up guy. <laughs> uh, and oftentimes sitting as well, like in yeah, this yeah. case. But Occasionally. Yeah. Um, he seems like he would also like lie down sometimes too, uh, yeah. from time to time, or even like occasionally squat. But uh, <laughs> honestly, a real stand-up guy. <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> now that we got that out of our system, <laughs> into so the game. Uh, into we, the game here, guys. Come yeah. on! I mean, it's very standard stuff from both players. Though. Yeah, pretty, pretty straight up. Pretty Reaper expand versus looks like to be a one gateway expand out of uh, SOS. Yeah, getting both gases. May just throw two into each one and expand close to that cybernetic score timing. Let's see, we do. Decides to go for here. Hello. Oh. We caught you. She took a picture of herself on camera. Oh. Or took a picture of the camera that was capturing her. Busted. One She's like so embarrassed right now. <laughs> One of our Kespa photographers. Can't believe that happened. Caught her. Caught her in the act. Now I wonder if we're going to see an eBay block here. He's going to get a scout off first to know exactly what's going There's on. There's no Zealot even queued right now. No Zealot. He sees that for sure. He sees two gases and he sees the Cybercore building, so he could block it if he, he wants to. I think it's a bit too late. He didn't respawn. Oh, and what's enough. this? Proxy Stargate. Ooh. Looks like it. Pylon yeah, on the way, so. and byung has got to identify this. He he only sees two pylons in the main. Maybe he's expecting that expand, but the longer this goes on, he doesn't see any expansion. He's got to be scouting this, and he does this with this Reaper. He's already going all the way around the map. Yeah, I don't think this will be hidden forever. No, I don't yeah, think he's so. He's literally it's taken any every corner. He's already like smelled something. He's sniffing this in the yeah, water. Yeah, he's like the nexus is too late. What is this? I think he also saw that there was no stalker queued. He's like, what? Oh, this this is he's like, where? He's, he's like not even it. like. He's not even like where. Uh, or it's, it's not even like. Do you have a stargate? It's like where is your stargate? <laughs> like that's exactly what he's thinking right now. Yeah, I mean he scouts it with the SCV. Yep. Sees it exactly where it is. Starting a second barracks and reactor marines coming out. So he's going to be in a pretty good position to get rid of this. eBay goes up as well. Very defensive play. I'm sure we'll see an oracle out of this. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised to see a hold. And if he goes for fast plus one, could have a very strong timing with infantry units. Just go to the front. 
SOS is already investing a lot into this Oracle, and if it gets shut down, uh, it's, he's it definitely going to be behind. It hurts because his Nexus is so late. He sacrifices well. the Nexus because he's going for this. He spends a lot of gas on this. He also sacrifices a few army units, like that missing Stalker that we were talking about earlier. Um, that gas is gone. So he has a Mothership Core. That, that much he did not skip, but... But double turrets going up now, and that extra barracks for marine production. I think he's going to be fine. In fact, he even goes for the third safety turret here yeah, at the, he, um, oh, at the he's bunkers. He's in such a good position to He's wearing his floaties this. today. Oh, he's in, com he's in complete safety right he's now. He's wearing floaties and a life jacket. Yeah. Well, here comes the Oracle. And he's in a boat. And he's in a boat. <laughs> the thing is, the boat's like made out of like some really solid hull that probably wouldn't be pierced by yeah. anything. And the boat's on land. It's not even in water. The, yeah. boat's, the boat's like on a trailer being pulled down the highway. <laughs> not even, that's, that's actually dangerous too, man. He's like, not even, it's like stationary like on the side of the road. But there's in nobody else on the road. It's <laughs> 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 his backyard. And yeah, he's in a perfect position to deal with this. And from here, we're seeing two, two, just two barracks, staying on two barracks, getting stim. Might see timing from this source, some pressure at least. Ooh, uh, Oracle. Marines maybe out a little too far, but at least just protect the SEVs. Yep. Good micro as well. He's able to not take any more damage. And three more Marines do pop out, so should be okay. Yeah. Well, the stim plus one is on the way, but on the other hand, double forge upgrades coming out here for SOS. He will catch up in the upgrades very quickly and will be significantly ahead. So I would I would love to see a timing out of Byung here, especially if he scouts the two forges. I don't think he will with those sentries in a good position, but well, no. it's actually a, if he gets a good scan off, it's really tough to say like what he's going to do because even if he sees the forges. With an Nexus can out, two base versus two base, can he really hit a timing without medevacs? No, his medevacs are late because he got fast him in the eBay because he was cared about the Oracle. So the Oracle does that amount of damage to Byung's build. Even though he doesn't kill anything, he's like, okay, your medevacs are late, so I can go double forge and be greedy about it. Yeah, I, I love seeing double forge. Uh-oh, not paying attention is SOS. Oh, he gets it out of there. Oh, the acceleration on the Oracle, too strong. Too yeah. fast. Too damn fast. Gets out of there. Speed Demon Oracle. Yep, and we're seeing a lot of gateways added. Anis, Twilight, uh, Council. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see uh, what the next step is here yeah. for Byung, because I feel the ball's really in his court I th right I now. I think we'll see, like, a very fast 2-2. Two -two. Uh, because Byung needs, like, if he doesn't do anything about this, he's going to be in a position where the third base could be taken off of upgrade advantages alone. If he just takes a third base here... That's okay in the short term, but Ooh, a lot of gateways being added. Six in total now. Charge Zealot, maybe Archon plus two two out timing. I'd like to see Charge Zealot, and that's what we're seeing. Yeah, Very looks like nice. looks like that's what we're going to be seeing here. Old school. And Byung pretty confident to drop his third base on the low ground. Feels like uh, holding off the Oracle harass. He's Oracle getting okay. some perfect vision on exactly where these Marines are going too. So he knows he doesn't even tag it either. He wants to save that energy for perhaps slowing down the third base. Yeah, killing this SCV. Oh. Ooh, so close. He's gonna stick around like an annoying bee. Uh, oh, miss clicks again. Shoots the uh, command center instead, and these Marines are gonna get rid of the Stargate, but that's no problem. But that's also the pylon there. Pylon. Pylon Schmylon. Pylon yeah. Schmylon, who cares? It's okay. Well, I don't know, man. 2-2, two, two, charge. If he can get that out with some Archons oh, here. He's going to be gearing up for a If he holds timing. this pressure, then the follow-up is going to be like, you are not having a third base, Bjorn. Well, without many Vax, he's just simply not much Bjorn can do. He has combat shields finishing up here, but he's down a whole set of upgrades already. Yeah. We're just seeing more results added. Charge almost finished, and... Photon overcharge would be online if he came close enough. Yeah, he didn't even get to bait that out, it looks no. like, so... This no, Oracle is like Speedy Gonzalez. Dancing with death constantly, puts an envision on the army, which is, I think, great timing to do it, seeing the medivacs are out. Gets him on any medivacs too, so no drop's gonna happen anytime soon. He actually gets a big stem out of that army too. Yeah. This is gonna be a strong push. He's yeah. already getting a huge army right now. He's got a ton of zealots, has two Archons in the mix. Uh, I don't. I don't think Byung has any idea what's coming. Like he hasn't seen the. He Archons, hasn't identified it. And if he, oh, if he gets caught out in the middle of the map, like he needs bunkers up at home. But if he gets like, caught in the middle of the map, then there's no way he's gonna be okay here. Oh yeah. Okay, now he's seen what this army he has to looks stim like. again, and there's stim so run. many of these units warping in over here. Another Archon coming in, 16 Zealots with two two upgrades versus gonna be a one one Terran. 
maybe. He's not even at the plus one armor just yet. No, still a way off. He could be actually, uh, well, 2 2 is going to be finished before that army goes up. And is Byung trying to go for a counter attack here? No, okay. Mm. He, he sees the location of SOS's army and he's running as fast as possible. He is going for that counter attack, actually. Oh, oh. those two Widowmine shots basically worthless. Yeah, this is actually devastating. Those Widowmines were really important. He doesn't have enough units to really control the top of the ramp either. There's so much sentry energy for Force Shields and Guardian Shield. Now, this base will go down with no problem over here. Well, the ship core has 200 energy. It's not with the Protoss army to recall. I bet he wishes it was right now. But uh, still an okay spot here with these Marauders. He's actually buying a lot of time, and these two Widowmines could connect with an Archon. And one shot. I don't know what happened to the second one. Maybe it died, actually, but... Oh, he needs to control his bio over here. There's that overcharge, and he has so many gateways right now. Eight in the main base. He's able to warp in a ton of Zealots. He does have a very nice bunker there at the third base, but still, he's losing The production mining. is capped. Yeah. He can't actually make anything. Everything he makes dies. Yeah. I mean, these Widow Mines will eventually fend off what's left, but, uh, and I mean, it was pretty actually, good. Actually, I'm not even sure, man. Like, it could do some damage over time, but yeah, maybe everything will be dead by the time it actually clears. He's just, it's just too much damage. He, he, no matter what, if he holds this, it's, it doesn't matter, I feel. Even if he kills, I mean, he's killed the natural, but he's got no mining at his third base, so he himself is on one mining base with how many SCVs are left? One. One SCV is <laughs> one left. One SCV is left. <laughs> oh. I think this is lights out, actually. He here. just lost that SCV. Yeah. Uh, that Archon is like one Marine shot away from death, but he doesn't kill it. Killed one of the uh, Widow Mines with the Archon Splash. So that's one less thing to worry about. And if, yeah. he, if he can kill the main nexus maybe he can like force a stalemate but he already started turning around i don't yeah. i don't he's, think there's any chance here for beyond as well yeah he wants to save the rest of his army while beyond's army is coming back or well, what's left of his army he's gonna reinforce wants to target that archon that's that would be like such a nice pick off oh, right yeah now. that's like a one-shot kill but look at this so many more zealots on the way this whole army is not even able to deal with and he's gonna get sandwiched no oh. uh, it's just there's let's be frank guys there's not much chance he's going to survive against this. <laughs> not much. I mean, 31 supply against 95. It's definitely looking bad. Uh, I want to see Byung's first-person view as he micros his last of his units. I don't know. That might be not as impressive as what we saw before. <laughs> well, this uh, Oracle comes over here with Vision. will wipe out that last Widow Mine. And this base even might get killed by sentries. <laughs> they have plus two attack. Kill well, a lot of probes. Young is back here trying to kill the probes, trying to do whatever he possibly can, but now dropping in the main base, but the Mothership Core is still there. Uh, I uh, I mean, even the cannon here, GG. GG. SOS, the safe prediction. The safe choice. Safety choice there. Feeling good about dollar sign? Oh, dollar sign. That's Safety sure. Sam. Safety Salmon. That's me uh, and this wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's I able to tie it up here. I just poured my water all over my shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> misjudging death. Oh, my God. Oh. Anyways, I think I'm wrong on camera. <laughs> oh, that, that would be quite embarrassing. Well, Team Salmon's getting all wet. <laughs> As we ought to do, I guess. And I mean, next time up, to swim upstream. Time, time to swim upstream. Next up, we have Hero versus Cure. Uh, this is going to be a hard match for Cure, that's for sure. Hero leading the charts at rank one, in really good form. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, doing very, very good. He's been the hero for Tijantas for a long time. I feel like. <laughs>